So now we're down here at the South Pond on Factory Street. And I thought before everybody gets here, I just kind of do a little shooting of the pond itself. I think this pond right in the village of Union Springs is a little gem all in itself. And people are gathering for this one. There's the marker to unveil. Fall is certainly coming to New York State. There, get a little closer to the pond. While we're waiting for people to gather, those of you that live out of state, that have some pretty fond memories of Union Springs, scanning around here is for you. This is Factory Street. Looking down through. And after we do the South Pond, then we head over in front of Springport Library that used to be a Quaker Meeting House. And that's where the third historical sign is going to be unveiled. So again, once we are done at this point, I will say bye and head over to Springport Library where we start up again. I just saw a big bird swooping around here. He disappeared. There he is. Cuyahoga Lake is right down there ahead of us. I just, I would love to have a house right down here. This is so gorgeous. Beautiful cattails. Just peaceful. Over there, you got some ducks swimming around. A lot of ducks, actually. We have more people coming. So I think. Huh? I guess maybe people are coming closer, so maybe we're going to be getting ready to get started here. Either that or a car is coming through. Maybe I can get down here and kind of see the lake a little bit. There's the lake down there. Thank you for your patience on waiting until we are ready to start. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell when to start this live video stuff. 
but couldn't ask for a nicer place to be. And maybe we're going to be starting here in a minute. She shook her head yes to me. So hang in there, everyone. Same thing back by general products. Lots of fishing spots up there where people set up chairs. Again, we have a lot of people that turned out today. Calling your troops. Hi, buddy. Okay, we're going to be starting. Thank you everyone for coming this lovely autumn afternoon. We're here for the dedication of the spring mill pond, which some call the South Pond. We're here to dedicate the historical marker. The pond's importance was providing water for water power for varied industries over the years. If you go west for a few feet and then face north, you will look upon a peaceful scene consisting of a picnic pavilion and two benches near the lake shore. Water tumbles from the west side of the pond and goes into the stream, which flows under the foot ridges, under two foot ridges to empty into Cayuga Lake. In the 1800s, this location was a beehive of industrial activity. Let's step back in time for a few moments. Allow your mind to be transported back to the 19th century you would hear the creak of wagon wheels, the clatter of the wooden sides of the wagon or cart, the clip-clop of the horse's hooves, and the snuffling of horses, mules, or perhaps even oxen. You might hear the blast of a train whistle, the screeching of gulls, or the honks of high-flying geese. Depending on the animals or the weight of the conveyance's load, you would see the animals plodding or high-stepping down to the lake shore for the wool, wheat, logs, or animal hides to be unloaded. This site at various times was home to a carding mill, a fulling mill, a grist mill, a sawmill, and a tannery. Imagine the thump of the machines coming from the carding mill as the wool was prepared for spinning by brushing the fibers to evenly align them. Loud thunks from the machine in the fulling mill could be heard from a great distance as the cloth went through a process to further strengthen it. 
There was a lot of pounding that could be heard as the wheat was ground in the grist mill. There was the high-pitched whine of the saws in the sawmill and the banging sounds as the hides were pounded upon to soften them in the tannery. In 1902, a creamery was established. Over the years, it went by various names with different owners, with the last name being Finger Lake Creamery. At one time, this creamery produced 460,000 pounds of butter. This creamery was in business well past the middle of the 20th century. The importance of this spring mill pond cannot be overestimated. Besides supplying the water, it provided employment, services, and was instrumental in the development of Union Springs and the surrounding area. This part of town was indeed bustling. And now I will turn it over to Mayor Sada. So once again, um, the village is honored to uh, be a part of this and, and our thanks to all of you that are here and to the uh, Frontenac Historical Society and all the work they do. Um, the research that goes into these things, and, and again, thank you, Jean, that was a, a great uh, a prelude to the things that everyone needs to know about that were here. You hear questions coming down, what businesses were here and how did they work? Uh, so that was a great recap of how all those things uh, were done. Um, I, again, the, the village is proud to be a part of this. Uh, we're a, a small part is the government. Uh, you as the people uh, to carry on the legacies that we have for all of the things, people, businesses, uh, parcels, are the most important. So thank you. With that, as long as you didn't tie a knot. <laughs> <laughs> So there you go. There's the pond. There's sign number two. And I'm going to sign off and head over to Springport Library where the final unveiling, the third sign, will be done. So, see you in a few minutes. Bye.